Hello and welcome. The tight claw menace needs to be addressed, so I did my part and went on another hunt over the weekend. These creatures have been a real danger on the local beaches and it has gotten so bad that even random people in the streets started blaming them instead of Luteus for snipping off their pet card nuts and running away with the loot. But obviously this was Luteus's doing. I saw him hiding behind a bush recently with what looked like gardening shears in hand. Nevertheless, when that happens, your only way to reclaim the family jewels is to press T and revive your avatar. I am usually not a guy that jumps on a hype train, but I do like hunting tight claws and I hoped I might loot a pristine element. Of course, I did not loot any and the best I have to show for my effort are a few globals that were too few and too small to actually break me even for the hunt. Anyway, I joined in on the tight claw slaughtering frenzy for the last hunt before I packed my poop and boarded the flight to Arcadia. The flight crew consisted of me, myself and I. They were all pleasant while they served me the mid-flight snack and a beer. Sadly, the low quality of those cheap refreshments made itself evident as I nearly shut myself before I had the chance to crack the window open and point my trash dispenser into deep space. Had I pointed my poo-poo machine towards an inhabited planet, the jet that shot out would have caused an extinction event. As for my plans on Arcadia, I will go over those in the conclusion of this video. Now let's go over the results of my tight claw hunt and why I decided to leave the planet after the hunt. On my hunt I cycled through 2098 pet and 8 pack with TT return of 1838 pet and 33 pack. This is a loss of 259 pet and 75 pack, which is unpleasant but a fairly normal result for these. It is nowhere near as bad as it can actually get. Sometimes you go on a hunt and do not global at all and that is when the real bad losses tend to happen. Either way, I shall not forget to mention the amazing marka by God. It was 6 entire pad and 97 pack. There was some random stuff with a little bit of markup like bone in meat that I stashed in my storage, but that would not have changed my results in any appreciable way. I mean, at best, it would have afforded me two or three pad of extra markup. Overall, during this hunting log series combined with my Penelion grind series, I cycled 17,871 pad and 64 pack. My TT return thus far has been 16,675 pad and 59 pack, which is a return of 93.3%. That is unless I buggered the math the same way Luteus will hit over the head and bugger random people in the wilderness. Anyway, the results of this hunt were not the main reason why I decided to switch planets. Rather, it was because of a gut feeling that was telling me the next hunt or whatever else I did on Cyrene would end up much worse. I do not always listen to my gut feelings, but usually I end up regretting my decisions when I do ignore the voice in the back of my head telling me stuff like this. To conclude, my second tight claw hunt was much worse than the first one. However, the loss was smaller than the profit from first hunt, so I do not mind it all that much. What I did mind though was the gut feeling I had after the hunt. It was telling me that whatever I do next will end up much worse and that I should change planets. So I flew to Arcadia for a time. Right now I have no idea how long I will stay there, but I do roughly know what I would like to do over the next few days or a week or two. I want to get progress in some of my remaining old style hunting missions. This will have the added benefit of giving me codex progress for those creatures. Maybe I will even get a rank or two in my meta codex. I would not mind some extra stamina right now. I might even hunt some mobs that I no longer have a mission for. For some reason I feel like hunting Hadradas. But first I will do a hunt on Nassals. Actually I already started that hunt last night as I did not have the time to make this video yesterday as I left Cyrene. 
Aside from hunting, I also plan on doing some mining on the Ignisium server here on Arcadia, and hopefully I will also manage to publish another episode of my mining log series before the week's end. I originally planned to publish that one last week, but forgot about it completely. By the way, I am not sure when I will manage to get around to making the Nassal Hunt video, but most likely sometime next week, by the time I probably will have hunted some other mobs too. Anyway, Luteus willing, I will have enough free time to do all of this and make some extra videos from other games too. Today is 26th of March and Terra Invicta is coming to Game Pass today. Also, Millennia is set to release on Steam later today and I intend to play that one as well. I think I will have to leave Terra Invicta for another day as I won't have enough time to play both today. Anyway, if I like those two games and have some extra free time, I will try to make videos about them in the near future. Originally, I also wanted to take a look at Dragon's Dogma 2, but when I saw the poop storm that manifested with that release, I came to the conclusion I might as well just wait and possibly get it for really cheap in half a year or a year. Maybe it will be actually playable at a decent frame rate without the need for a supercomputer by that time and considering the wet fart of a launch that game had, I am quite optimistic about it going on sale with a steep discount fairly soon or maybe even being thrown out as part of some bundle on Humble Bundle. Regardless, I have lots of games to play in the meantime and while Dragon's Dogma 2 looks interesting, it is also currently rather broken, so I do not mind waiting when I look at it from that perspective either. And I still have not had the time to play Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader, which is already sitting in my Steam library and installed on my SSD. Anyway, enough of my rambling for now. Thank you for watching, hit that like button, like it just, fiddle with your nutsack, subscribe to the channel and good luck out there. Also, let me know what games you are looking forward to or which ones you are playing right now aside from Entropia Universe of course, and have a wonderful day.